The name David Bloom may not be familiar to many, but the nickname Wall Street Whiz Kid is known amongst New York's elite. Bloom was twice convicted for duping dozens of New Yorkers for millions of dollars, and now he's being accused of bringing those same scams to Los Angeles. A shady scammer brings his scheme from one coast to another. On Tuesday, Los Angeles District Attorney George Gascon announced 18 felony counts against David Bloom, nine counts of fraud and nine counts of grand theft. Often people say, well, this is a financial crime, but it's a financial crime that has a tremendous impact on people's livelihood. He became like family to me. Entrepreneur Caroline DeMore was one of nine Los Angeles area people Bloom bilked more than $250,000 from. DeMore was duped of $35,000 after she claims Bloom promised to help get her pasta sauce line into Whole Foods nationwide. He will go to your child's birthday, your brother's funeral, and he, it took him months to actually pull off the scam with me. I think he worked on me for about six months. DeMore would later learn Bloom had a past. Back in New York, the 59-year-old was dubbed the Wall Street whiz kid after he was convicted of mail and securities fraud in 1988. At 23 years old, Bloom convinced over 100 people to hand over $15 million to fund his lavish lifestyle and not the promising stocks he agreed to. He was prohibited from selling any securities uh, for years. After serving eight years in prison, Bloom was charged with grand larceny after scamming more New Yorkers for another $50,000. He would spend five more years in prison. Following his sentence, Bloom would allegedly bring those same schemes to Los Angeles. At the end of Tuesday morning's press conference, DeMore wanted to share a message to anyone else looking to become the next Wall Street whiz kid. This is a moment where we say that we are not the ones that need to be embarrassed. You are. Today, Monday morning and is currently being held on $500,000 bond. So far, DA Gascon says about $60,000 have been returned to victims, far from the $250,000 he's being accused of bilking. Live in studio, I'm Pedro Vera. Back to you.